friend now in this lecture we will discuss one theorem in real analysis which is based on the convergent sequence now see what is the statement of this theorem to show that non decreasing sequence which is bounded above show that it is the convergent sequence so see what is given in this theorem and what we want to show we are given some non decreasing sequence non decreasing sequence means it is also called as an increasing sequence so we are given some non decreasing sequence which is bounded above so first of all suppose that a sin that is a non decreasing sequence which is bounded above and show that this sequence sn it is the convergent sequence see what is given okay we are given some non decreasing sequence which is the bounded sequence so first of all suppose that sn it is the non decreasing sequence which is bounded above and show that this sequence sn that is the convergent sequence so write down the proof suppose that sn is the non decreasing sequence which is bounded above so this is given so first of all suppose that the sequence sn that is the non decreasing sequence or it is the increasing sequence which is bounded above now instead of bounded above we can simply write it is the bounded sequence instead of this bounded above we can use the word that is the bounded sequence now see we want to show that this sequence sn it is the convergent sequence now see how to construct this proof first of all we consider some set a that is the collection of infinite term of this sequence so write down let a that is the collection of infinite term of this sequence s1 s2 s3 s4 and so on so this is subset of r now see what is given if we are given this sequence sn it has a bounded above sequence so because sn it is the bounded sequence so we can say that this a it is a non empty bounded set so right here therefore a is a non empty bounded set or non empty bounded above now see there is one property there is one action so what is that action every non empty bounded set has a supremum see what is the action we know this action ke every non empty bounded above set has a least upper bound so use that action therefore a has a supremum or the list upper bound say capital n in r so see this is our construction or this is our assumption so what we assume in, the, in this theorem ke suppose that sequence s n it is the non decreasing sequence which is the bounded above sequence we construct some set what is our con construction ke consider the set a as the infinite collection of this 
term of sequence that is subset of R. And because S n is the bounded above sequence, so we can say that this A t that is a non empty bounded above set. Now there is one action that every non empty bounded above set has the supremum. So according to that action, we can write here that it has a supremum or the least upper bound, say capital N in R. So this is our first step. Now see what is the second step. We want to show that this sequence S n it is the convergent sequence. So let us claim that this sequence S n converges to limit n. So right here, claim that or right like this. We have to show that this sequence S n is the convergent sequence. Convergent sequence means let us show that this sequence S n it converges to some point. So right here now claim that. This sequence S n converges to n as n approaches to infinity. See so how to show that the sequence it is the convergent sequence. See what is the definition? Sequence S n it is said to be converges to the limit m means that what is the definition? If for every epsilon greater than zero there exists a natural number n such that modulus of S n minus m this is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. This is what the definition of the convergent sequence. So in convergent sequence, first of all we have to choose epsilon greater than zero and find out this natural number by showing this condition ke modulus of S n minus m it is less than epsilon that is called the convergent sequence. So let us take this epsilon it has a positive quantity. So right here let epsilon greater than 0. Now see this capital M that is the least upper bound what is this quantity m? This m it is the least upper bound. Now suppose if we subtract some positive quantity epsilon that is some positive quantity and what is epsilon? Epsilon that is it may be small quantity. Now if we subtract epsilon from this least upper bound so obviously this m minus epsilon this is less than capital M. Now see what is this capital M? Capital M it is the upper bound and obviously it is the smallest upper bound, it is the least upper bound and this M minus epsilon it is again the smaller number. So obviously because M it is the least upper bound so we can say that M minus epsilon cannot be upper bound because this is the least number and this number it is again the smaller number. So we can say that a minus epsilon cannot be a upper bound. So right here, therefore, a minus epsilon cannot be upper bound. Now see what is the definition of the upper bound. If suppose a if it is the upper bound of the sequence S n, if suppose we are given some sequence S n and if suppose A m if it is the upper bound of sequence S n then we can write this S n this is less than or equal to capital N for all n belongs to natural number. If A m if suppose that is the upper bound. Now A minus epsilon this is not the upper bound that means there exists some term of sequence which is greater than this m minus epsilon because this is not the upper bound. If m is the upper bound then we have this condition. 
Yeah, all the term of the sequence it is less than or equal to m. Because m minus epsilon, this is not the upper bound. This is not the upper bound means there exists some term of sequence which is greater than this number n minus epsilon. So right here, therefore, there exists a natural number capital N such that this m minus epsilon, this is less than so this is our second step. Okay, let us choose epsilon greater than zero. Then we have this condition that m minus epsilon obviously it is less than capital N. Because m it is the least upper bound, that is the smallest of the upper bound, and n minus epsilon that is again the smaller number. So we can say that m minus epsilon cannot be upper bound. So this is not the upper bound means there exists some term of sequence which is greater than this number n minus epsilon. Now see what is given. If we are given this sequence S n at it as the increasing sequence. Non-decreasing sequence means it is also called as the increasing sequence. So let us use this fact. So right here, since S n is the non decreasing sequence non decreasing sequence means it is the increasing sequence so what is the condition for increasing sequence therefore for small n greater than or equal to capital n we have this condition k sn this is greater than or equal to sn this is greater than or equal to s of capital n so this is the condition for increasing sequence. Okay, if we take small n greater than or equal to capital N, then we have this condition K okay, S n this is greater than or equal to S n. Now from this equation, this S n this is greater than m minus epsilon. So we can write like this: that is S n greater than or equal to S capital N, and this S n this is greater than this number m minus epsilon. right here that is Sn this is greater than m minus epsilon and this condition it is true for all n which is greater than or equal to capital N. So this is our second step. Now see what is this m? m that is the least upper bound so use this concept so right here now this m is the least upper bound. So what is the definition of the upper bound? Therefore, all the term of the sequence, this is less than or equal to capital M for all N belongs to natural number. So this is the definition of the upper bound. Okay, all the term of the sequence, this is less than or equal to capital M for all N belongs to natural number. So we can write this statement as that is SN, this is less than or equal to capital M and this capital M, obviously, this is less than M minus M plus epsilon for all N belongs to natural number. So in particular, this sequence SN, this is less than M plus epsilon for all N greater than or equal to capital N. So this is we can write this as the equation number. This is suppose equation number one. And this is suppose equation number two. So combine this equation one and two. So right here, therefore, from equation one and two, we write. So what is equation number one? M minus epsilon, this is less than Sn, and this Sn, this is less than M plus epsilon. So this implies, now subtract M, so this minus epsilon, this is less than Sn minus capital M, this is less than epsilon. So this implies that 
कि मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एस एन माइनस एन दिस इज लेस देन एफ नॉन फॉर ऑल इन ग्रेटर देन ऑल टू कैपिटल सो दिस इज वॉट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द कॉन्वर्जेंट सिक्वेंस कि वी आर शोन दैट फॉर एफ नॉन ग्रेटर देन जीरो देर एग्जिस्ट सर्टन नेचुरल नंबर एन हैविंग दिस कंडीशन के मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एस एन माइनस एम लेस देन एफ सिलॉन सो वी कैन राइट के सिक्वेंस एस एन इट इज द कॉन्वर्जेंट सिक्वेंस so write down the conclusion ki okay, therefore the sequence sn is the convergent sequence so this is the proof of the given theorem so see what is the statement of the given theorem okay, if suppose we are given some non decreasing sequence which is the bounded double sequence then it is always the convergent segment so thank you for watching